The Langston River flowed free and wild till the Calamity drank it all up. Maybe all that water just grew wings and flew off. So bent on finding the core, they hardly notice the kid. Lucky for him, a certain famous fairy barge is still afloat. Weeping Nelly. She sends some squirts crying home as she leaves port. Maybe Nelly knows the way to the core. Maybe she can slip right past all the clamor on the coast. Or maybe not. The security skiff pulls up portside. Nelly's just another windbag to those guns. Just then, the windbags notice who she's sailing with. Try to cut her off. They try to slow her down. They try to knock her out. Well, Weeping Nelly tries harder. Try as she might, though, she hits a snag. Kids gotta help her get untangled. Favors for favors. Picked a good spot for a break, because the core is right there. every move. They had their own eyes on the core. But why? Well, kid ain't got time to think it over just yet. He finds a weeping Nelly raring to go. Turns out she's got a special surprise for when the waters get rough. She's gonna need a little help with all them peckers. Crafty things think they're king of the roost now. Rest of us only wish we could fly in times like these.
Securitas gifts keep on coming, starboard side. Don't seem to care what they shoot, as long as they hit something. Solid ground. Solid ground and picker country. They want that core real bad. Seems a calamity ain't hurt the picker's appetites. Might be they want it just as bad as a kid. Kid shoes them off, knowing they'll be back. Know how many times kid nearly fell off the bars back there? Not even once. Now, listen close. You should remember this next part. Why go to Prosper Bluff? Used to take an enterprising man or plain old fool to venture out that far. The city was the most beautiful place in the world. We all knew that. But on the other hand, some folks just yearn to see the things they're told they can. And that's why you go to Prosper Bluff. There the kid hears something he ain't heard in a long while. How's it go again? Yeah, that's the one.
Well, no point explaining what happens next, right? Suffice it to say, kid ain't coming home empty-handed. And besides, it's like the song goes. Someday your bird is gonna fly. They'll be here before too long. We darn near celebrated when the kid got back, didn't we? Zolf never thought he'd see a fellow her again. We become fast friends. Calamity has that effect on people. But there was more to be done. There was one last core to find. If only I'd known half the secrets of the Calamity were tucked away in that book. I had a work to translate it right away. A scientific journal written in Zolf's native tongue. He learned so much from it. Too much. Most of the Ura never got a taste of Ceylandia's fine goods, unless they were born and raised in the city like Zia here. Girl tried to run away from home one time, but the marshals stopped that, didn't they? So many secrets in there and she can't even read it. Her father's own journal. Kid's surprised when I tell him there's only one core left. I shouldn't have believed it either. The memorial. Here yeah, kid can pay respect to the old world and earn it in kind. The valediction. Just another one of my sketches, nothing more. Words can't express what happened, but they're all I got. We tracked the final core beyond the city to the wilds. The wild unknown, place can eat a man alive. Place is so raw, even the calamity couldn't cook it. Not all of it. Know what's better than having a slinger pistol in a fight? Having two. Savage things lurking at every turn. Pin cushions ain't the worst of it either. Pecker's got the core, like they're building a bastion of their own. The welcoming committee scrambles to attention. Didn't expect the kid so soon. 
By now, kids got more needles in them than stab weed. They shouldn't have let the guard down. Getting that core was one thing. Getting out's gonna be another. He digs his way out of the clearing, but the wilds won't let him go without a fight. Wallflowers survive the calamity. Best take it real slow when pin cushions are afoot. Good thing pin cushions can't see where they're shooting. Is faster than a slinger with those guns. Don't ever turn your back on a pin cushion. Kids roused up half the wild by now. 